In this video, you're going to learn how to script a marketing video that you can use on YouTube, Facebook, or even as a video sales letter or VSL for short, even if you're new to this kind of stuff. In fact, I'm going to reveal the same 10 step formula that I've used to create a sales video for one of my own products, the seven day Rainmaker email sequence. So I'm going to show you what these 10 steps are, how you can make sure that you use them in any type of video that you want. And I'm also going to show you the exact seven minute VSL that I've done with this. Now, do you have to have a seven minute video as well to make this work? No, of course not. Uh, in fact, you can use this uh, for any type of video, which has ideally between one minute to 10 minutes. So that would be the range that this would be perfect for. However, you can also expand it. You can make it a long form video sales letter, or you, or you can actually make it a super short 30 to 40 second uh, video that grabs attention, creates some type of emotional connection, and then offers people a solution to their problems. So if you're curious on how you can leverage the awesome opportunity of video marketing, especially in 2020, then keep watching this video. All right. So first of all, if you're new here, my name is Chaba. I'm the founder of Game of Conversions, the place where online entrepreneurs learn how to convert more casual leads into profitable and paying customers. And uh, I love this topic because video is getting uh, very important in today's marketing landscape. In fact, as much as I love long form sales letters or those long type of written sales materials, the truth is that especially nowadays, people are browsing so much on mobile and it's just easier to sell with a video than with a long text-based uh, marketing asset. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be using those. They can work as well. And if you look at something like email, it's still one of the best and most personal types of communication channels that you can have. So you cannot really replace it with a video. However, if you want to grab attention fast, if you want to create fascinations in people, if you want to uh, leverage the great opportunity of Facebook advertising or YouTube advertising, then these type of videos can definitely make a huge impact in your business and it can help you attract the right leads and just get them into your uh, ecosystem or you can directly sell them something if they're on your email list or you're remarketing them some type of product, okay? Great. Well, first of all, as with any other type of marketing project, you got to get their attention first. For written text, you have the headline for this. For emails, you have the subject line. Here you have basically a hook that immediately grabs their attention. Now, this can be a pattern interrupt in which you do something that they don't expect. It can be the start of a story. It can be a question that calls out something. It can be an interesting statistic. It can be something funny. It's up to you and you can even stack these. But the main thing here is that you just uh, immediately start with something that they will find interesting. Like how I started this video by immediately not talking about myself, but like, what are you going to learn today? Now, the second step is to identify their problem. And th again, this is always the case in any type of copywriting work. Uh, people need to realize that they have a problem. You need to make sure that they know that their life is not perfect and that uh, they have trouble getting from their current situation to their ideal situation on their own. And if you think about it, that's the basis of any type of sales conversation. So uh, they have to realize that they have a problem. Uh, as Eugene Schwartz, a legendary marketer put it, you have to warm them up between the stages of awareness. So first of all, they are unaware that they have a problem. Then they discover that they have a problem, but they don't know of a solution yet. Then they discover that there are solutions, but they, they just feel lost. Then they uh, become product aware when they hear of you, your products, your services, and then they become most aware when they're already familiar with your world and they're basically just waiting for uh, a discount or something. So this is the second part, identify the problem. The third part is very closely related to this and it is to agitate the problem. Because here's the thing, simply pointing out the problem doesn't work. So many people, think about this, how many people do you know who are always telling you or themselves or their loved ones, yeah, 
I mean, I should do that. Life sucks like this. I hate it, but I don't know. I guess I'm going to do it next time. I guess I'm going to do it tomorrow. I guess I'm going to do it next year. And guess what? They're never going to do it. So you got to agitate this problem because without it, they won't feel the burning pain. And you need them to feel that burning pain because otherwise uh, they will just phase out. I mean, there are so many distractions today. They will keep uh, continue scrolling on Facebook. They're going to skip your ad on YouTube. They're just going to uh, look at yet another cat video. Do you want that? No, of course not. But in order to uh, really hook them emotionally, and this is the name of the game here, hook them emotionally, because uh, every type of buying decision is made on emotions. And once they made this decision, then they justify that decision with logic. But at this point, you just have to identify the problem first and then agitate it. Don't, don't be afraid to twist the knife a little bit. Those type of ads, those type of videos are the ones that really connect with people. And naturally, uh, those type of structures work well for stories as well. Think about all the movies, all the uh, classical literature or any type of story that you might know. Uh, it's always... Uh, based on some type of pain, like we have the protagonist, you know, their life is okay at first, they're unaware of their problem, then something happens that basically gets them on a deep dive, they discover that they have a problem, they're trying to fix it somehow, but they fail, they, uh, you know, get deeper and deeper and deeper until they hit like kind of a rock bottom, this is the agitation part, and then uh, based on some uh, you know, a lot of work, a lot of suffering, help from an outside party, they discover a solution that works. So think about this every single time when you want to convey a message, not just in videos, in text as well, or even in like face-to-face uh, uh, -face sales. You want to agitate the problem. This is super, super important. All right, next up, the fourth step is to identify the solution. So this is just a natural thing. If you highlight a problem for people, they will get emotionally stressed and they will want you to offer them a solution. And if you don't, they might even get angry at you. So always offer them a solution which naturally complements the type of pain that you just described here. So uh, if you want to help them make more money and you just mentioned the story and how you were struggling for so many years, you barely had enough money in your bank, bank account to pay your rent, uh, then uh, your solution would be on how you discovered, I don't know, copywriting and, and turned it into a lucrative career. Was it easy? No, but this is part of the story. And it's also the solution as well. So make sure to always have a solution and present it in your video as well. But, and this is very important, please resist the temptation to unpack the solution too much, okay? You don't want to give them the how. You just want to give them the what and maybe the why. That's it. Don't start and explaining your whole system and everything in a, in a type of video like that because people will start to think too much from their heads and you still want them to think uh, based on emotions, uh, even if this might sound a little bit weird. People do think with their emotions, it's like a gut feeling and uh, you don't want to engage their logical brain too much because then they will start to rationalize that, yeah, maybe I don't want this or something like that, okay? So present the solution, tease it a little bit, give the high level like 10,000 foot view, but stay at that. Which brings me to the fifth point, and that's to establish authority. So at this point, people are obviously interested in what you want to give them. May that be a free resource like a, a freebie or a paid product, an entry-level product, or even like a high-ticket coaching program. Uh, at this point, they're somewhat interested as well, but they're going to start doubting you. They're going to say, yeah, sure, you made a great case until so far, but who are you? Why should I trust you? So uh, in this part, the fifth part, you basically uh, build more rapport. You establish the know, like, and trust factor. So uh, you list your previous achievements. You uh, present why this problem that you just described was a, was a central part to your life as well. Uh, you bring up case studies, maybe some testimonials, not too much, but a few. And just basically... Uh, Build a case that you are an expert at this and you're not just some schmuck who, are, who is trying to just sell them snake oil. Okay, at this part, uh, you have two options. 
either you can explain your uh, offer a little bit more in a bit more detail. Let's say you're selling an online course. In that case, it makes sense to uh, basically describe what they get, what's inside, what are the bonuses, you know, uh, what are the outcomes of all these things that they get. But if you're doing a shorter video, a few minute long video only, then uh, you can skip this basically and just give them a call to action. So uh, again, based on how long your video is, I'm gonna assume it's shorter for this presentation, but uh, you can also give them more information. But for now, just give them a call to action. So after you've built the case of the problem, agitation, solution, who are you, why should they trust you, just give them a call to action. And again, this can be like something asking them to subscribe to your newsletter, to download your book, to uh, join your free challenge, but it can also be something to buy your entry level product. So it can work either way. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how I did it uh, with my own entry level uh, product, the seven day Rainmaker email sequence. Okay, at this point, you've made your offer and that can be uh, prompting people to subscribe to your newsletter, to download your book, to join your free challenge, or to buy one of your paid programs, anything. If it's a shorter video, again, I'm gonna assume that it's a shorter video because most people are looking for marketing videos which are top of funnel. So meaning uh, they hook people in and uh, get, get them into their marketing channels so that they can nurture them more with like emails, for example. So uh, you gave them a call to action, you can finish the video. But if you wanna go on longer, uh, then you can highlight the guarantee, for example, uh, that they get a money back guarantee if they buy the course. You can highlight even more testimonials. Uh, you can uh, present some case studies as well, or you can talk more about the bonuses. You can do any of these things and then give them another call to action because it's not enough for longer videos to give them just a single call to action because uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you gotta, you gotta make it as easy as possible for people to join. Okay. Uh, that's the essence here to make it as frictionless and smooth as possible. And sometimes you just need to give several call to actions right in front of them so that they don't have to scroll back or something. Uh, you remind them several times to do the action that you want them to take. Now we get to some more advanced stuff because if you have a video which is like longer than three minutes, let's say, uh, then you have the real estate to also present them with, uh, with the binary option of what happens if they don't do anything. And this can be after like your second call to action. So uh, just make them realize that the default thing for people is to do nothing. But if they do nothing, if they choose that option, which is the easiest, but is the most painful because then they will continue to suffer. They will continue to live with the same problems that they are living with right now. But they have another option as well. They can give your offer a risk-free shot. And if they do that, then they bet on themselves. They can uh, significantly improve their lives risk-free because they are protected by a money-back guarantee. So uh, this type of binary close works really well usually uh, and uh, it really makes people think that yes, they want this. It motivates them a bit more. So make sure to use it. By the way, you can also give them some type of scarcity here. So if you have a course and uh, the cart is closing soon because you're launching the course, you have a launch model, then you can remind them of the urgency. Or if you're uh, advertising basically a coaching package, then you can create scarcity by telling, hey, I only have like 10 spots in this program, five of them are already filled out and I don't know how long this opportunity will last. And uh, hey, if you wanna join, better do it sooner rather than later. And make sure to use um, real scarcity here because uh, people will look through the bullshit scarcity and you know, they just, when they refresh the page and they will see the same type of uh, timer there, they usually don't like it. Now, sometimes it's harder to set this up with tech and everything, but, uh, uh, if you can, then make sure to do this because it will uh, establish you as more of a credible authority, okay? And this is important. And then finally, uh, if the video is this long, then you can give them another call to action and even more social proof elements here, more testimonials, more case studies. Uh, but now you can give them... Uh, 
a call to action which is more like fear-based. The first call to action, let's say, is gain-based. So uh, you can highlight what they will gain from this whole thing. The second one could be like logical, that it makes sense to do this. And this third one could be fear-based. It could be like, hey, this is your last chance to, to, to join here or something like that. And yeah, with that being said, you basically have the, uh, the structure for the video itself. So as a quick recap, first you grab attention. Then you highlight the problem that they're dealing with. Next up, you agitate the problem. Then you offer a solution. Then you build credibility and trust for yourself. Then you uh, give them a call to action, the first game-based call to action. Then you uh, optionally describe what's inside the program a bit more and might even give them a uh, money-back guarantee, highlight the money-back guarantee. Then you give them another call to action. Then you do the binary close. So uh, basically just present the contrast between not doing anything and doing something. And then you give them the final call to action. And again, you can complement it uh, with additional social proof elements as well. So uh, it's not that complicated. Don't worry if you don't, if you don't get it perfect. And again, this can be as short as a one minute video and as long as like a 10, 15 minute video, you can expand it. You can make the story, especially the problem part of the, uh, of the structure much longer. You can describe all your past failings, all the, all the things that you've tried but didn't work and uh, you can expand that to as long as you want and it will build more emotional connections. But sometimes, you know, if you're doing a top of funnel marketing campaign, you just want to grab that attention. And in that case, just a simple like one, two lines or, or paragraphs of, of, uh, of problem based story is enough to get people interested. OK, so cool. Now. I want to show you one of my own marketing videos that I'm using as a VSL, a video sales letter. And this is a special type of VSL because it's an ugly VSL. It's ugly because it's only a white background with text on it. And you might be wondering, like, what's up with that? People aren't even in there. Uh, believe it or not, it's simple, but it's, it's great for telling stories. It's great for uh, building that emotional connection. And there's no distractions here. People can't even uh, skip to certain parts of the video. The only thing they can do is to stop it or uh, start it or even to mute it. But that's it. Uh, you don't want to give them the opportunity to skip because the, one of the great benefits of a video uh, ad or a video sales letter is that you, uh, you basically force people to go through your whole sales argument. And... That's, that is double-edged sword because at one part it has to be good because otherwise you're going to lose them and uh, they're not going to scroll through like they could with a sales page. But on the other hand, if you hook them, if you build that slippery slope of, uh, of persuasion, then they're going to watch it and they are much more likely to scroll all the way down to the price, for example, or to just skip certain parts that are needed for your whole sales argument. So for this, a video is really great. Okay, so I'm here on my uh, homepage and I want to show you the uh, video sales letter for the seven day Rainmaker email sequence. So I'm just going to click it here and um, I'm going to play some parts of it and then stop a little bit. And huge email copywriting nerd. Now, since you're here watching this video, let me ask you a quick question. Okay, so first of all, uh, I just introduced myself and uh, could have done a better job of connecting with them here, but this is my attention grabbing question that I'm using here. So, since they are here, I'm assuming they have a problem which connects with my question. So, let's see what that is. And notice how, you know, this is. Uh, I cannot really do anything, only uh, play and pause it, nothing else, not even put it in, uh, in full screen. And I can do these types of things with Wistia, for example. Have you ever had difficulty selling stuff online with email? Have you ever felt like creating all the emails you need for your online business to be overwhelming? And have you ever wished that all of this was simply taken care of for you? So I asked three questions, the magical three, and uh, all these things, uh, I'm assuming they're relevant to them if they are on this page. 
uh, and I'm transitioning to the problem, the second part of the whole formula. Uh, I'm transitioning to uh, building emotional rapport with them by uh, presenting how I also had a problem with this because I assume that they also have a problem with it. If you said yes to any of these questions, let me show you how you can make this problem go away in literally a few minutes with a complete email sequence made specifically for selling digital products and tested on hundreds of different funnels with profound results. Okay, so notice that the, uh, the frame here is very, very basic, very simple. Uh, it just has a white background and it has uh, black text to it. And some things are highlighted by red, things that I really want them to notice. Uh, now, I could have done a better job with, uh, with voicing this. I could have hired an actor or something, but uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm guessing uh, if you're watching this video, uh, you don't really have that big access to professional voiceovers. So it's good enough. As you can see, I mean, it's nothing special. I just wrote the script and I uh, basically put it on slides here. This is like basically the presentation from a slide deck and I read the uh, sentences as I showed them. That's it. And it's, you might think that it's, it's weird and it is an ugly sales letter, but it works because uh, it just creates this hypnotic types of type of trance for people. So as they're hearing the words, they're also seeing the words itself. And uh, I studied cognitive psychology and I know how these things, you know, create mental representations inside people. And that's one of the reasons why these types of ugly video sales letters work so well. Look, I remember when I started the story part. emails, I was led with the promise that I just write the email, click send, and all of a sudden, money would come rolling in. Man, I was rudely awakened. I put all this effort, time and money into crafting the perfect email. Yet when I hit send, all I could hear was crickets. Check it out. I'm agitating the pain. I'm uh, describing something that so many people who want to try email marketing experience. And I also experienced. Uh, it's just, you put all that effort into crafting emails, you write it and everything, and nobody even cares. It's like crickets. Nothing happened. Nobody bought. No one cared. Until I finally learned how email marketing really worked with my own blood, sweat, and tears. It's a bit dramatic, but... Uh... Again, as I said, don't be afraid to agitate things here. These types of power words, blood, kill, sweat, tears, these are the things that shock people out of their zombie state, as John Carlton said. What I then realized was that crafting high converting emails that sell wasn't all that difficult. All you needed to do was follow three simple steps. Sure. Check it out. I'm, I'm uh, transitioning into the solution uh, with, uh, with tips. So basically, I'm describing uh, a link between the problem and the eventual solution that will come here. But I'm also giving them a little bit of value. So this, this VSL is, uh, I guess, seven minutes long. So I have the space for this to do that. If you're uh, shorter, don't worry, you can skip this. But in my case, I also wanted to give them a little bit of value so that uh, it's it's not just a a, a sales video. Uh, it, you also come away with with something, a few cute, uh, key tips, which are really useful. First, build rapport before selling, then coach the conversion context in your campaigns, and finally sell without being sleazy. Once I learned these three concepts, the benefits were amazing. <laughs> My open rates tripled. People started bonding with me even before they knew me. This is the turnaround story from, you know, I, I was struggling, I found a system, and then now I'm experiencing results. And people actually started clicking the links in my emails, going to my page, and buying my stuff. The first time you experience this, it's unbelievable. Like, what? I just sent an email, people click the link, and I print money. It sounds unbelievable, but it's true, and it can work. And... If you're watching this video and you think you're, if you're, you're a total beginner and you think that this is just a pipe dream, don't don't worry about it. Uh, it is at first. It might seem like if your list is very small, but if you have a great list, you're growing it and you start sending emails. 
I mean, it works. It really works. All because I finally understood how selling through email really works. So I took all that I've learned over the years. This is a transition. Of six and seven figure companies boost their sales. With Check it out. This is uh, the uh, authority building part and the uh, credibility building part of the, of the system. So I'm moving it a little bit earlier because it naturally complements this, uh, but it's basically the same thing. Email and condense the very best stuff into a ridiculously effective email template pack, surgically designed to sell digital products with deadly efficiency. Again, notice surgically designed, deadly efficiency. You might think that these words are too powerful, too, too harsh, but think about it. When people are watching the video, especially when they're watching like a text-based video, your energy, your energy in, in, in your voice uh, is automatically halved. So uh, that's also why you have to pump yourself up. You have to use these types of power words because uh, otherwise people will just think that it's a snooze fest. And uh, if you lose their attention, they're gone, man. They're gone, gone for good. So today... I want to invite you to check it out. I call it the seven day rainmaker. Email the product service. reveal, basically. It's a complete plug and play seven day email campaign that will transform your email stats from this into this more social proof sales from this into this even more Five social proof. You can do it. All you need is the seven day rainmaker email sequence. So here's a sampling of what's actually inside. So this is the part that I, uh, that I mentioned. If your uh, script, your video is running longer, if you want to sell something directly, then uh, you can definitely use this and uh, just uh, start you know, expanding what's inside the product itself. And I also gave them a call to action link here. So they can click it and they will, uh, this will, this is made with Wistia. It will link to the checkout page here. You have 7.1 high converting grab and go email them. So I'm giving them bullets here, just bullets, an overview of what's inside to build some desire here. Place that you can easily customize to fit your business within minutes. Everything is neatly laid out. So you just open the document, fill in the blanks, paste the email in your email service provider and hit send. That's it. It's that easy. A proven strategy already created for you that turns casual subscribers into profitable customers on autopilot in just seven days. Not one, but two attention grabbing subject line variations for each email guaranteed to grab attention and boost open rates. And a bonus checklist on how to make the most out of these proven templates so your emails consistently get those high opens and clicks. So I'm just describing what's in the course. I'm uh, pumping, up, pumping up the language here so that it's more powerful. Uh, but everything that I say here is true. I mean, uh, this is easy. Uh, this template, I, I put a lot of effort and uh, consideration into this template pack to make sure it's anybody can use it, even if they're not a writer. Listen, I've personally used this exact more social proof here. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for my clients. And now I'm making it available to the public for the very first time. Normally I charge between 200 to $400 for writing just one of these. This was like, uh, uh, some time back now it's, uh, it's even higher, but, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Emails. But today you can grab the entire seven day sequence for just $28. Yep. Just $28. That's less than $4 per email. I'm doing some slight price anchoring here, not the most, but a little bit, just reframing that $28 price uh, to smaller manageable uh, amounts. So just click the button First call to action. You'll be confidently sending high converting emails in a matter of minutes. And I even added a, a little uh, arrow here to point to the call to action button here. When they click it, you know, they will uh, get to the checkout page or lower on, on this page and uh, they can buy it. That's it. And in case you're wondering, yes, there is a guarantee. Try the entire template back. And if you don't make your investment back by at least 10 times within 30 days, simply send me a message and I'll give you your money back. The money back guarantee. Think about it. The money back guarantee here. Back. I obviously don't 
think it'll come to that. But if you're even the least bit worried if this will work for you, then put your mind at ease. You either get the results you want or you get your money back. It's that simple. So at this point, you know something needs to happen. Check out the binary close. Uh, I'm giving them uh, the two options. Either they do nothing or they do something and... Uh, so either they do uh, nothing and uh, they will keep struggling or they do something and good things can happen. And they can do it risk-free. You've been struggling with low-performing emails for far too long, yet you've seen that there's an easy way to fix this, literally within minutes. And no matter what, your investment is fully guaranteed. So now's the time to take that next step. Simply click the on the second call to action. And let's get started. You'll be taken directly to the secure checkout. Now, since this, again, this video is uh, around seven minutes long, I have the space to uh, explain in more detail what happens when they uh, click the button. So you don't have to do this for like a lead generation type of video, but for a longer or like medium sized video sales letter, uh, you can definitely do this because it lowers the anxiety in people. If they know exactly what they can expect, they're more likely to buy. And this in increases conversion rates. Page, and you'll get your hands on the seven day Rainmaker email sequence within 30 seconds. No more writing from scratch and no more leaving money at the table with your email. I'm just reiterating the so listen, benefits here. You can go out and have dinner for one at the basic. Again, check this out. This is like a reframe of the, of the whole conversation. Like at this point, they're thinking about prices, but uh, if I reframe that so that, hey, you can spend it on like uh, a basic dinner or you can buy something that can make you thousands of dollars. Like it's a no brainer. Restaurant or you can get yourself a full email sequence. Perfect for selling digital products online for just $28 and do it risk free. It's a no brainer. Click the button below and let's get started. The third call to action. See you inside. And that's it. Basically uh, here, you know, people can even click this. Uh, this is again from Wistia. They get taken to the checkout page and uh, they can, you know, enter their information. They can choose tiers as well. They can even add uh, a, a bump offer, which uh, complements this really well. So still my ultimate copywriting swipe world. This has like 2000 uh, plus pages of various uh, samples, emails, long form sales pages, Facebook ads, VSLs, everything. Uh, yeah, it's, and for 28 or like uh, $29, it's, it's not a lot. So, uh, yeah, basically that is the video. Uh, make sure to, uh, follow the rough formula because this is quite universal and it will work for pretty much anything. And remember, you don't have to make this a, uh, an ugly style video sales letter. You can make it a, a simple, uh, ad hoc video with your iPhone. You don't even have to memorize any script. You just follow the same type of formula, uh, or you can script it out and read it from a teleprompter yourself, or you can hire actors to do it for you. Uh, the sky's the limit, but if you follow this, I promise you'll get much better results. And don't worry about this whole video marketing thing, uh, being complicated. I know it sounds intimidating, but it's, it's, it's not that bad actually. And, uh, you can actually check out one of my. Uh, videos, the previous video, I think, in which I talked about the whole process that I use to produce videos and upload them to YouTube, for example. But you can use the same thing to create sales videos as well. You don't need to hire an editor or other tech people. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to it down uh, below this video. It's like a 28 minute, uh, like mini masterclass. So if you're interested in these types of things, definitely check that out as well. And uh, yeah, I'm also going to say like leave a, a link to this uh uh seven day remake email sequence in the show notes because uh hey, if you want to check it out then I uh, I don't want to take this opportunity away from you. So, thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed the video then make sure to like it, leave a comment. I reply to every single comment and uh subscribe if you want to learn more. And also if you click the bell icon below then You'll be, uh, you'll be sure to be notified when I release a new video because a lot of people aren't notified and uh, even they subscribed, 
uh, they don't get the videos and then it gets lost, you know, everywhere. But if you click the bell icon, then it solves this problem for the both of us. So thanks again for watching. Wishing you a happy day. Uh, Ciao out. Take care.